Hello everybody, my name is Nasty Mold and this week's upcoming traveling spirit has been announced. It is the baffled botanist from the season of assembly. Now the spirit doesn't have a whole lot of cosmetics, um, just a few of the ones I have on. Uh, we have the hairstyle and the mask, as well as we have this prop on the back. And this prop works as a spotlight, so they don't have a whole lot of cosmetics, which should make this spirit a little bit cheaper than a lot of them that might visit around these Season of Shattering spirits. Um, so in this video, I'm going to show you everything about this spirit. I'm going to show you where we can find them um, within the Hidden Forest. And then we'll go in greater detail over their cosmetics and items they bring, the emote, and then finally their pricing, which should be confirmed this time because they've come in the past. So to find the spirit, we are just going to fly down into the hidden forest. Um, it should be still within the first section. You don't actually have to go through any sort of loading screen to find them. But they are in like the farthest part of the section. So keep going through this first gate here. I'm just going to fly through the little hole, but you can always open it like normal. And then over the side here, and they should be in this segment of the treehouse. Um, wait, have I forgotten? Oh, wait, they're around this back. Okay, it's been a long time since I've seen this spirit. Hi, botanist. So yeah, this one's pretty easy to relive, all in all. Just be careful not to lose your light. Obviously, we are in the rain. It can be a bit dangerous, but the spirit should recharge us uh, a decent amount so we don't perish. Basically, we just follow them up the treehouse. I know the angle is kind of weird, sorry. And uh, then we go back down and then up, I believe. I believe this is the final checkpoint for the spirit and they have been relived of course if you haven't lit them their little statue is just behind us there pretty easy to spot so that is where and how to relive the baffled botanist now we're going to take a look at some of their cosmetics starting with the uh spotlight that we have on our back here so you can place it wherever and it will leave a little spotlight ring I think it's a pretty handy item for people who really like making shared spaces, for people who might want to perform under a light, something like that. But all in all, it's not a particularly useful item. Um, it doesn't help charge you in any way. Uh, it really is just a light. You can also put the light on the side of things, of course, like on the side of this tree here, the side of a wall, whatever, um, so you could make your performances a little more brightened. So that's the spotlight item, um, and this is what it looks like on your back. Kind of looks like it's glowing a little bit. It's got that yellow light peeking out of the actual lamp itself. So yeah, spotlight. And then for our other cosmetics, they really only have two things. We have the messy hairstyle that's very in your face here. It really does cover most of your mask, so do keep that in mind when you're looking to buy it. I think that would be a selling point for a lot of people. Lots of people like to have a sort of emo hairstyle and uh, this one fits the bill pretty well. And then because you couldn't see the spirit's mask at all, it actually has a yellow teardrop and it's a bit of like a dark gray mask, which I really like. It's very similar to the Light Seeker's mask, which has like a lighter gray and then a blue cut through the eye and a blue tear, which I really love that one as well. But if I had to pick a favorite, I think I would go with the dark gray one just because I prefer that color scheme on my Sky Kid. Uh, so it has this yellow teardrop running down. It's slightly visible under the hairstyle, but not super visible. So those are our three cosmetics for this spirit. Pretty cute, but also a little sad. Now let's check out the emote and its upgraded versions. This spirit has the face palm emote. So here's the level one version. Level 2.
level three and four gets a little weird because your sky kid actually pulls down their mask. Looks a little creepy. Here's a level four version. And one more time for fun. Freaky. All right, with all of that done, we can finally take a look at the pricing for this spirit. Now, this is going to be the same pricing as the last time they visited, so it should be accurate. Um, at the very bottom of their tree, we have the level one version of the face palm emote. That one is free, of course, when you relive the spirit. We have the level two version connected for four regular hearts. Above that, we have a random spell or blessing for five regular candles. And then connected to that, we have a heart for three candles and then their mask for 24 regular candles. Above that, we have their permanent wing buff for two ascended candles. And then we have the level three version of the face palm emote, for three hearts, and the level four version for six hearts. Above that, we have one more spell or blessing for five regular candles. And then I believe I have the position of these top two mixed up, but it doesn't really matter because it's connected to the same node. But we have the uh, spotlight prop at 45 regular candles and the hairstyle for the same price. So all in all, pretty cheap spirit and a lot of skippable items if you're not particularly into them. Like, you don't really need to have the spotlight. It is truly just a light. Um, so we're looking at a confirmed total of about 13 regular hearts, 127 regular candles, and two ascended candles. So they are a pretty cheap spirit, especially after all of the shattering spirits just came. Everyone's a bit broke, and uh, thank you for sending us an easy one, TQC. Yeah, so that is it for the Baffled Botanist. Thank you guys so much, as always, for watching. I hope you found this helpful, hope you enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!